Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a Swift 3, the SF31 Series 5.6 model. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your memory. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip your computer over to access the bottom case screws. After removing these nine screws, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool, and I say plastic because it'll scratch your computer far less than a metal one will, and we're going to go all the way around the seam of your bottom case and pry it off from the rest of your computer. It's generally easier to start back here near one of the two hinge assemblies. Go nice and slow and careful but firm. Don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components, keep it on the edge, and if you get stuck at a certain spot, just leave it. Go to the other side and continue in the other direction. Now this bottom case was very tight. It was a little bit of a pain and make sure that you pry it off from out back here too, near the hinges. After you get the bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any of the replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, and that will be a list of all those tools and supplies that I use in my shop, as well as this computer model's replacement parts and upgrade parts. Now before I touch anything in a computer, I always either remove or at least unplug my battery. A computer is safest to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. This is your battery right down here. It's held in by these two screws and plugs into the motherboard right here. To unplug the battery, there's a piece of black tape here over the plug, remove that carefully. And as with any wires or cables in a computer, try not to pull on the actual wires if at all possible. They can be damaged. Uh, sometimes they can come out of the plug. So just manipulate the plug if at all possible. In this case, it's easy. There's a grip on either side of that white plug. You can use your fingernails or a pry tool to wiggle that out of that port. Your RAM is located right up here near the top right of my screen under this metal guard. That's not screwed down. You can just wiggle that right off. Once you've removed it, you expose this single RAM port right there. The RAM that was in this computer was labeled as PC42666V SD RAM. Uh, your computer on board built into the motherboard will have four gigabytes of RAM. The maximum RAM capacity for this computer is 12 gigabytes. So including the four gigabytes of on board, that means the max you can upgrade this RAM to is eight gigabytes of RAM. So it, it's not a computer that has a, a tremendous amount of RAM. Uh, so below in the description, in that link I told you about with all of the replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer, I will include a couple options for eight gigabyte sticks of RAM since that's all you can upgrade it to anyway. The way that RAM works is there's two spring-loaded metal arms on either side, the bottom and the top. You gently pry those apart from each other, away from the RAM stick. The RAM will then release. It'll often pop up a little bit, and then you can grab it in the center and pull it out of this port. To get the RAM back in, as you'll notice on your stick, there's a long section to the port here and a short section. So you can't put the RAM in upside down. It can only go in one way. And once you get it in there nice and flush, make sure that this gold section is nice and evenly lined up. Then you just press in the center, press down, and those arms will snap onto it and hold it in place. I guess the only other thing to mention about a RAM replacement is if you are looking to maximize your computer's speed and performance, upgrading your memory, your RAM, and your storage, which would be your hard drive and solid state drive, those are gonna be the easiest, uh, cheapest ways you can upgrade this computer's performance. There'll be a video link below in the description. It'll be this exact same model and it'll go into a little further how you can upgrade your hard drive over here and your solid state drive right here. Uh, but that's the end of this video, how to get inside the Swift 3 and access your memory. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions, 
I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.